All right, guys. So we are here uh, in Flushing Main Street. We're going to be with Passengers United for today. Carlton from Passengers United, the head of the group itself. He will be showcasing us the current traffic conditions uh, here in Main Street, and not just Main Street, other parts here in Flushing. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Passengers United uh, here with Kevin, and uh, we're at the Flushing Main Street station. And today we're going to be doing a tour of the uh, Flushing area with the buses and what's going on with the Queen's bus redesign. So I'm happy to be here as part of Kevin's uh, video. And I urge all of you, um, you know, to uh, join Passengers United channel and to also volunteer. We need volunteers at Passengers United. So thank you, Kevin, for doing this and coming out to Queen's. So as you can see, all the pedestrians are crossing here and it gets very complicated during rush hour because you have a fire truck there right now so the problem with this is the problem with this is you need to have a traffic agent or a police officer stationed here to direct the traffic and that bus lane the problem is it works but the problem is the way they have it where you have traffic coming from here so you have buses making a left turn from over here and then you have some buses making some nice buses making um, a left turn from there on to here so it creates a conflict with these bus lanes um, so as you can see even the traffic over here is piled up and that's a problem as well over here we have the Q27 we have the Q44 uh, select bus um, we have the Q20A uh, we also have the Q50 um, the Q28, um, the Q65, Q25, Q34, uh, the N20G, which is nice bus. And to be honest with you, the way they have nice bus over here, nice bus makes a left turn from here there onto here, which makes no sense. Um, I think what nice bus should do is nice bus should make a right turn, go up to Northern Boulevard, and then go the other way. So as you can see, all the traffic making the turn over here is a nightmare and you see how complicated this is over here because the bus is trying to make a left the car is in the way and then look at this you have a, a two-way street here that doesn't work so you need more uh, flexibility so that the buses could turn and it could go better because you see how everyone's getting stuck over here take an image of that so this is the problem the way they have the buses making the turns over here, it's very complicated over here. Because, you know, every time a bus has to make a turn, especially this street over here where you have a two-way street, I don't know if that's two, a two-way street here would work. But what generally I think should happen with all of these buses over here, is they should have a bus terminal at Metz Willits Point and let all the buses go over there. Because they have so much land over there. This is such a tight squeeze and it creates so much congestion. Now look at this bus. Look at look, look at that. So it's gotten way better with the bus lanes, but the problem is what is the impact to local businesses? So we need to be very mindful of that and to the community and to what they want. Um, we shouldn't have people from other organizations dictating what the community needs. So that's why I'm always very cautious whenever I speak. But I think we need a bigger bus terminal to accommodate all these buses. We're at the N20G uh, Great Neck uh, Nice Bus uh, Nassau and County Express bus stop. So this is the bus stop that the buses load going eastbound to uh, Great Neck. Now you see how they have it here. And look at how bad it is. There's a car park there. This is the worst bus stop to have nice bus in. Nice bus should be given a stop where there's more space for them. Um, and I think it shouldn't be over here. It should be somewhere towards the other side on the other streets. So the bus can turn and get on Northern Boulevard and go down. Uh, I've spoken to Erica at Nassau County Express because their buses make that left turn over there from uh, Main uh, from Roosevelt onto Main Street, 
and that is a major hurdle because it impacts all the traffic over there as well. We're right here at Casino Boulevard and um, we're here at uh, Main Street. And as you can see, the traffic here is very light. But the problem is up there is where you have all the double park cars and that creates a problem over there. And they also have a bike lane. Believe it or not, a bike lane starts where, you see where that car is, the white car is? All the way up there is where the bike lane starts. Why in the hell would they put in a bike lane when you have buses crammed up like that? It's a recipe for disaster. I don't think there should be a, bu uh, a bike lane by the bus lane. That's very dangerous. Also, you need a traffic agent standing here at all times to direct the traffic and make it better. In the previous segments, uh, we were joined by Carlton for Passengers United. He's the head of the group. Uh, he gave his analysis about the congestion that goes on here, but he just went really, really fast, I noticed. And he's gone now, and it's just me and the Rail 99 who is the cameraman. So he did notice that there was a nice bus, the N20G. Can you show that real quick? So you do have a nice bus, N20G. It just made the turn uh, from Roosevelt Avenue over here. Now you do notice that this is a very tight road over here. Two lanes, but it's very, very, very tight. And I don't know how in the world people could wait for a bus here. It's absolutely incredible the amount of congestion that you have here. So there, on this side, this is Main Street. You do have a Q17, and then you have a Q27 behind it, and then you have another Q17 right there, and then you have another one back there. What is that? A Q65? What is that? Q65, yeah, Q65. That goes to Jamaica, right? I believe so. It goes to Jamaica. Um, and then you notice that segment where we showed you where those buses make that very narrow left turn down there. I don't know how people could do that. Like, I don't know how those buses could fit in such a tight road, right? And then right here, there's a not in service bus, which which I think that, that tends to be the Q48, right? This is the Q48, I think it goes around here. That's the one that goes to LaGuardia Airport, right? And then you see that for this Q65, the one that goes to College Point, look at all the people that wait here to go on the bus. It's a massive amount of congestion, not just over here, but over here as well. So this is the other bus stop for Q65. This is the one that goes to Jamaica. And then look at this, the Q12. This is those really long ones. What, what are these called again? Oh, the XD60. The XD60. So look, yep. look at the turn. Look at that. Look how crazy that looks. Look, look at that. Oh, yeah. Really sharp now, thing. awesome that we have this on film. Look at that. Even those cars have to pull back. They have to reverse in order for this bus to go through, right? Yeah. So here you go, Q17. That's going to make its way out of there. Then you have the other one right there. Oh, yeah. So mind you, this is not a surprise and more of the same and actually even worse because there's a viewer that uh, made a comment in one of the posts regarding the picture that I posted. And look at that. Let's turn around. So you have the 25. You got the 20A. Somehow you got the A, right? And then you have the 44. That one goes to the Bronx, right? Oh, yeah. So you're yeah. one and only Burrow the Bronx. Yep. Um, it's starting to get settled down there. That looks fine, right? But then over here, look at that. We can't really see that much. There is a non-service bus right there. And then you have the Q12 right there. Um, how in the world, who came up with that decision for the MTA to pull a 60-foot bus in such a tight road? And then to make a left turn, you, you, you already saw that, right? How oh, crazy yeah. it was? was really Unbelievable. Roosevelt Avenue, up close. Look at all the traffic that's coming down here. You have that bus, once again, that made that stunning turn. You want to move up a little bit? Let's move up here. Yeah, here is good. Um, you have cars coming in. You have buses that are going to be making turns. And then you see, you have a nice bus way back there. That, once again, is the N20G. It's going to be making a turn here. But check that out. Look at all that traffic. Now, mind you, there's usually cars that take up uh, the first lane, and then you only have the second lane available for vehicles to pass by. So with that in mind, you only have one lane for, for traffic. And look at all of that. So once uh, this bus passes by, we're going to show you, look at all of that congestion. So there you have the Q28 once again. And then, look, you have the bus. You have, all right, we have to wait for the other bus to pass by. <laughs> Uh, so you have the bus, you have the white car, you have the other car, you have the truck, you have another car, you have the bus, you have another car, another and then you have bus. another car, and then you have another car, and then you have another car, and then you have another car. 
nice. And, another, and then bus. another nice bus. Q17. And then you have another one once again. No, actually, which one is that? Q27? Uh, yeah, Q27. Q27. Look at all of those people waiting for the bus here. It's unbelievable. Now, you want to turn? Let's check out this side real quick. So here you got uh, the Q66. Then you have, um, what is that one on the side? Can you see it? It looks like a 60 footer. Oh yeah, that's a 60 footer. Yeah. But what, what line is that? Do you know uh, what line is that? Oh, oh yeah, no? I can't see that. I mean, we'll figure it out eventually. Now, let's go back here real quick. Um, the reason why we're showing this certain intersection a lot for this video is because a lot of traffic seems to come down here. Here you have the Q66, that one just passed by. And then look, we're gonna witness once again, it's those crazy left turns. But this is an exception. This is a 40 foot bus. Well, look, look, look. Still a very tight Glad that we have this video. Glad that we have this uh, portion recording because look, look how beautiful things could be. Here we have a crazy stuff going on. Uh, one person was about to literally smack that bus. Oh man. All right, so that's the Q12. So it's co it's coming from that side. And I believe that's going to enter the last stop because the first stop actually is way down there. And then you have the other Q66 here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just keeps going and going. Check it oh, out. It's it's nonstop. This beats Flatbush Avenue by a mile. Oh, and yeah. I don't I don't think a mile. Uh, a century, I guess. <laughs> now, what's curious is, I think those are the new bu uh, nice buses, right? Oh, yeah, the Gillix. Gillix? Oh, that's what it's called? Uh -huh. So that's the N20G, and those are the new buses for nice. It's the first time that I actually see it. It's the same story over and over again. Look, you have two cars, then the bus, then you have a massive show of cars, and you have another nice bus down there. Another Q65. How many times am I going to say Q65? But look at all those people waiting. Whoever rides the 65 and you have to wait for the bus and it's those long lines, oh my goodness. I do not know how you guys do it. But again, why I keep reiterating, there has to be a bus lane at Roosevelt. You just have to do it. Because look at all of this. Look, one, they have another one here. You got another one there. And then you have another one there. You have to do it. You got to do it. Let's move on. Here's what we were talking about where the buses make those crazy left turns. Look, this is the street we're talking about. So currently, um, I do not know if those buses are idle or they're, or they're there because it's the first stop. I have no clue. Now, as we look at Main Street, once again, here you have the Q20B. All right, so we have another Q20B. So that's on the list. Here we have another Q65. So currently, uh, there's traffic coming this way. Um, it's currently a red light here at Main Street. So that's why the buses haven't moved yet. But I am pretty damn sure there's going to be a lot moving in here in a bit. But this is a real hazard. And this is why, look, when you're driving, right, that you go behind that white line. Because if you go in front of it, it's not going to end well. Because buses will be stuck and they'll tell you, go back, so that they could move and make that turn. Now we have the 19. Look at that. I, I, the first time I see this, and look, now it's making that turn that we're talking about. So look, let's, let's see for ourselves how this, how this turn goes. I mean, this is kind of crazy, look. I mean, that's successful, it went well. Over here we have the 17, over here we have the 27, over there we have the 25. <laughs> and then here we have the other turn. Now let's see this one. And it's dealing with congestion. Look, here you have traffic going on. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Oh man, what's this guy doing? I know, man. I guess it's gonna wait a bit. So this is my problem. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look, turn the camera around. There you go, look at that. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Yeah. Now here's this bus making the turn. How do you think that one? I, I think it went good. Yeah, that one went pretty good. Yeah. Um, we already saw this one, and now there's one, oh, there's uh, one. on the other side waiting to go. Can we get to see it? Yes. Um, oh, so that's a Q50. Q50. Oh, and that oh, one so also makes a turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, that goes to the Bronx? Uh-huh. All right. So here we go. Let's see how it goes here with the turn. Um, most importantly, we noticed that buses that come on this side, when they make the turn, it does go well. So we're pleased with that. But I'm talking about those that go from here and then make that turn. It starts to get a little crazy. I think it's because of this too. The fact that this is also narrow, it makes it worse enough. And actually, if you guys are wondering, over here is um, one of the booths for the Q44, right? Here you have another Q17. Now you have the Q34. Where did that come from? So that's a Q34, it goes to Jamaica. So look at that. So that one goes to Jamaica Long Island Railroad. That avenue that you see over here, that's 38th Avenue. And this is what we were talking about. This is um, the select bus service uh, ticket machine. So let's show that real quick because this would be really cool if we do show it. Uh, it's, it's simple, you press the start button over here. 
you insert the ticket and then from there you know you do the job not only do you have one here you also have one there i think we showed that one already um over here we do have one too and then over here too right this one is a select bus metro car machine right yep how about this? What's that? This is uh, if you want to use coins. If you don't have a metro card, mm -hmm. you put your coins in here and you get a, a receipt for the select bus. Really? Yep. Oh, and then you still have to show that receipt, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Because there's usually officers on the bus. Oh, they yeah. say, oh, I want to see your receipt. Yep. Right. Makes sense. All right. So we're going to be ending here shortly, but we're also going to show, once again, more action of what's going on. So if you mind showing Malik what's going on here. Um, on the distance, you see a Q17. I don't know what's that behind it. We're going to have to figure it out once we get there. Um, over here, what's what's the line over here? Possibly it could be a Q28. So zoom in where you see the bus stop. Can you zoom in? Uh, it's a bit blurry. I could definitely see Q44, but the others I can't see. So in this bus stop here, you have the Q20 AMB, the 44, which goes to the, to the Bronx. And, that, and there it is right there, if you guys are wondering. Yeah. That might be the 20A or the 20B. So you notice that it actually started to get much more calmer. So that's a not in service bus. And then we have another one here. Now, which one do you think that is? The, the XN60 or the XD40? I think that's the uh, XD40. So this is what we're talking about, that left hand turn. So you see how here, that's also a challenge. Look, you got it, right, on tape? Yeah. Very good. See, look, right here. That's the other Q17. And then actually, apparently, look, that Q28, oh, Q28 it, it makes, makes a right hand turn. Yeah. And then you have the 17. And, and look, it's going to make that turn again. 27, 227. And now we're noticing that, let's see what time is it. Okay, so it's 5.55. Lucky, 5.55. Now, what we have to introduce is the bus lane. So check it out. This is the bus lane. Oh, and we're actually standing in front of the sign. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Buses only and right turns. You know what's interesting? UPS trucks, they cannot make left turns. Here we have some uh, some bus action going on, some little congestion. So if you could zoom in uh, Rail 99, there you could see there's little congestion going on. So I do notice uh, the later the time during the day, I guess the less congestion it is. But what we do want to show is that other part of the intersection here, which is uh, 41st Avenue. Now this is one of the icons here, that's the Queen's Library. Now here we're going to see a bunch of action. That was, it says no sign, here we have a Q44. Right there, you got a 65. Here we have some traffic going on. There you have the Q25 passing by. Um, don't worry, there's more than that. Q25, Q17, another Q25, and an N20G coming like up. Old fish. So look, tw uh, Q25 right here, another Q25. A couple of cars, I know, you have that UPS truck. Crazy oh. how I was talking about that like what, yeah, seconds ago. <laughs> now that UPS truck appeared. There you can see a parade of buses. Can you see it? Yep. You have um, a C40 LF, um, here you have a, a XD40, right? Yep. Another C40 LF, and then you have um, an XN40, that one down there. Oh, good And job. mind you, there's more, there's more, don't worry, there's more, look. So we'll have those passing by, and then uh, we have a Q27 approaching. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're just showing you uh, the traffic that goes on here in Main Street. See how it made that right turn? Yep. See what I was telling you about how the, the UPS trucks cannot make uh, left turns? Yeah. Do have that Q44. That actually is a bus stop for the Q44, right? Yep. Yep. So that's a bus stop for the Q44. At 41st Avenue, on this side, you have some stuff going on. And then you have a bus incoming there. That one is another Q25. Good to know that over here you have less congestion, so that's fine. At the current time, it is 6.04 p.m. There you have another bus coming in. That more than likely has to be the 25. Who knows? But it's safe to know that over here, what a difference it makes when it comes down to congestion. This right here is the Q15 and Q15A. See, look at all these people going onto the bus. Look at that massive line. It's going to where you have those um, outdoor dining stuff. I forgot what you call those. Oh, food court? Food court? Yeah, so look, people are waiting from down there to all the way here. So turn the camera around, right there. So look how massive those lines are. And by the way, here at Roosevelt Avenue, you'll also find the seven train entrance right here at Main Street. So if you want to turn around and show that, there you go. And around there, you also have some bike rides. So we just want to show you um, the fact that you have these long lines to go on the bus. I've never seen stuff like this. 
what we were just showing you in the previous segment was the, li the long lines that you usually have to wait for that bus there. And the reason why I, I went here is because each time that I usually get off here flushing to do certain stuff, to do certain errands, I always notice that for that specific bus line, you always have those long lines. I don't understand why. Maybe because it's a very important line or it probably has a lot of high ridership. I don't know. So here we have some action going on. And you notice that once that bus passed by, here we have a massive amount of cars coming in so over here you have some on this side and on the other side you do have some little action going on there you can see here you have a couple of more action going on and actually there you have that q12 bus so this is the q12 that goes uh to little neck this is a very good alternative if you don't want to go on the long island railroad um on the port washington branch you could take this to little neck and uh, you'll save yourself not that much money it's six o'clock now so i guess maybe because it's that time you don't have that much going on. Now, if we turn around, lastly, because I think we'll wrap it up here, because we don't want to waste that much time, I practically feel that there isn't going to be that much congestion here. You do have those um, nice buses. Once again, that's the N20G, the very important route to go uh, to Long Island, because that one, once again, that ends um, at Great Neck. Three years later, we're back here and uh, flushing, showing you how crazy it could be in terms of congestion for not just um, vehicles but for bus lines and like I always say for an area like this I just feel like there should be a bus lane implemented but I feel the same reason why they won't add it is because look you notice that that second lane it becomes impossible because look now this becomes one lane you see that right mm -hmm. so it's one lane here even though it becomes two lanes there right? right and then on the opposite side right you see how it just becomes one lane here yep. there's nothing you could do because it just becomes one lane. So I feel like that's also the reason why they probably were hesitating to put a lane here. The next location which will cover congestion like this, it'll be in the Bronx. What, what were those locations again? Uh, Fordham Plaza, Pelham Bay Park, and uh, Bay Plaza. For, Fordham, Fordham Plaza, Pelham Bay Park. And, Be, oh, no, Pelham Bay Plaza, you said? And uh, what's the last one? Oh, no, uh, Pelham Bay Park. Oh, Pelham uh, Bay Park. Bay Plaza. Oh, and Bay Plaza. Yep. And then for Brooklyn, it's going to be Flatbush Avenue. Nothing beats Flatbush Avenue for congestion. If you're a Brooklynite and you tell me there's something worse than Flatbush Avenue and Nostrand, then you please let me know in the comment section. But other than that, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching.